Uh-oh, Brandon has missed too many lectures, and now the guy has problems with his professor. The man agrees to give the student a chance to redeem himself, but only if he fulfills a task the professor has for him. I'll give you one glass of milk and one glass of water. You'll need to pour the two liquids into a bowl. But you should be able to separate the milk from the water later. You can't use any kind of dividers. Brandon spent several hours mulling over the problem. But he was desperate enough to crack this riddle. What did he do? He poured all the water into a bowl and froze it. After that, he added the milk. One morning, Melissa saw that some money was missing from the wallet she had left on the table the night before. Her husband was on a business trip, so it must have been one of her sons who took the cash. Jason, who was 17, 15-year-old Jacob, or her youngest son, Andrew, he was 13. Melissa asked her sons what they had been doing the previous evening. Jason said, I felt unwell and had a headache. After dinner, I took a painkiller and went to bed right away. Jacob told his mom, My friend Eric stayed for dinner. After that, I gave him a lift home. And Andrew reminded Melissa he had had his basketball training. The woman immediately understood who had taken the money. Can you figure it out as well? Jacob was lying. He was only 15 years old and couldn't drive, legally. Detective Green was called to investigate an accident. A car crashed into a store window and smashed the glass. There are two suspects. Both of them deny causing the accident. Detective Green doesn't need much time to figure out who the culprit is. Do you know it too? It's the owner of the blue car. The pattern on its tires is the same as the one on the ground in front of the store. It was a busy Monday morning at the police station when a man rushed in. I was robbed on the way to the bank, he screamed. I was going there carrying a bag with a large sum of money. Suddenly a man wearing a black mask and a pair of gloves ran up to me. He snatched the bag and darted away. The police officer listened to the man and asked him about a fresh cut on his right cheek. The man replied it was left by a ring the criminal had been wearing. When the policeman heard these words, he immediately understood the man was lying. How did he realize that? The man said the robber had been wearing gloves. Then how could the ring scratch his cheek? You lose your friends in a crowd. You spend half an hour looking for them. And finally, here they are. What is the first thing you do as soon as you see them? You stop searching. Look at these two women and the teenager sitting on the floor. He seems to be absorbed in his smartphone. Can you figure out which woman is his mother? It's the woman on the left. Children often subconsciously sit facing their parents. The teenager and the woman also have the same hair color. Timothy and Laura were high school sweethearts. They got married shortly after college. So far, they've been together for 20 years and have two kids who don't live with them anymore. Unfortunately, the spouses have started to fight a lot recently. One day, they talk and decide to divorce. Both of them confess they've already found new partners on a dating site. Timothy says he's happy to have lots of common interests with his internet girlfriend. And Laura boasts that her new boyfriend understands her perfectly. One day, Timothy and Laura decide to meet their ideal partners in real life. Strangely, after this meeting, the couple calls off their divorce. Can you figure out why?
Timothy and Laura found out they were having an online relationship with each other. An old man decided to leave all the money he's been saving for his entire life to one of his three sons. But he couldn't choose which one should get the money. That's why the man gave each of them one coin. He asked his sons to buy something that would fill the largest room in their house. The oldest son bought some raw cotton, but it wasn't enough to fill the whole room. The middle son brought home some straw, and still there was some space left in the room. And the youngest son bought two cheap things that managed to fill the room right away. He ended up being the one to get his father's money. What did he bring home? The youngest son bought a box of matches and a candle. After he lit the candle, the room was instantly filled with light. Patrick shaves every day. But every morning, he finds his beard to be just as long as it was the day before. How come? Patrick is a barber. He shaves other people. Amanda was 21 on her last birthday, but she's going to be 23 on her next one. How is it possible? It's Amanda's 22nd birthday today. Helen was walking in the forest and got lost. After wandering hours to find her way back, she comes to a clearing. There, the woman sees three narrow paths. But one of them is blocked by huge, dense bushes with sharp thorns. The second is littered with trash and broken glass. And the third path is guarded by massive, scary-looking mantises. Uh Which road should Helen pick? The woman should choose the third path. Mantises might look terrifying, but they're totally harmless. A mad scientist caught Kevin and locked him in a small room. There were no windows, and the door was locked. But there was a note on the table. It was from the scientist. J-F-M-A-M-J-A-S-O-N-D. Guess the missing letter, and I'll set you free. In 10 minutes, Kevin was already running away from the strange place. He managed to figure out that the missing letter was J. Those were the first letters of the months of the year, from January to December. And the sixth letter, J, stood for June. Can you figure out what this rebus puzzle means? It's no biggie. No big E? Yeah. It's a fruit, it's tasty and sweet, and can give you a lot of energy. But you can also find it in your calendar. What is it? It's a date. Anna asked her colleague Daniel to give her a lift to the college where her daughter studied. She promised the girl to take her shopping that day. On their way there, Anna got an idea. How about a bet? I'll prepare one of your reports for you if you manage to figure out which girl is my daughter. Daniel was up for the challenge. When they arrived at the college, they saw three girls waiting at the gates. Daniel was confused. They all look similar. Can you figure out who Anna's daughter is? It's the girl on the left. Anna has the letter L tattooed on her wrist, and the girl is wearing a bracelet with the same letter. A teenager is walking along the street together with a car mechanic. The guy is the mechanic's son, but the mechanic isn't the boy's father. How is it possible? The car mechanic is the guy's mother. 
Two cars, silver and white, are moving along the same highway. The silver car is traveling at a speed that's twice higher than that of the white car. They both started at the same time. And still, after some time on the road, the two cars come across each other. How is it possible? The cars were moving toward each other. John and Michael are car mechanics. After finishing a tricky repair, they get out from under the car. John's face is all dirty, but Michael's face is miraculously clean. And still, it's Michael who goes and washes his face. Why? Michael looked at his colleague and thought his face was dirty too. Uh But when John saw Michael, whose face was spotless, he concluded he was just as clean. When do you keep moving when you see red, but stop once it's green? It always happens when you're eating a watermelon. Who is the only brother-in-law of your mother's brother? That's your father. One night, a group of thieves was stealing boxes with electronics from a warehouse. They were carrying them to their van when they heard a police car siren. But even though the thieves didn't manage to avoid the police, they didn't get arrested. Why? They started to carry the boxes back to the warehouse, and the police thought it was a late-night delivery. Ooh, that's kind of smart. Rebecca works in a large international company. One day, she comes back to the office from lunch and finds her colleagues extremely agitated. Oh, they hurry to tell the girl that someone knocked their HR manager out just an hour ago. The police have three suspects. Laura is an applicant. She says she was a bit angry with the HR manager. After all, he made her wait for ages, well past the time of her appointment. She stayed outside in the rain and probably caught a cold. And still, Laura says, I would never hit him. Plus, I'm too weak to do it. Gary, who works in the marketing department, claims he hasn't seen the HR manager since he arrived at work. He was having a meeting from the very morning till lunchtime. Jacob, from Research and Development, tells the police he rode his bike to a coffee shop to get his cappuccino. He's just come back. Who knocked the HR manager out? It was Jacob. Both his bike and his clothes are dry and clean. How is it possible if it's raining outside? Jack is participating in a challenge. He's got to the last stage, which takes place in a desert. If he succeeds now, he'll win $1 million. Jack needs to get a key out of one of the four pots. On top of the first pot, there's a bowl filled with a strong acid. The second pot is covered with a bowl full of venomous spiders. In the bowl placed on the third pot, Jack sees a raging fire. A viper is curled up in the bowl covering the fourth pot. Jack isn't allowed to drop the bowls or turn them over. Which pot should he choose? The guy should choose the third bowl. He can put the fire out with the sand and get the key. Jacob is the owner of a small IT company. Larry is his subordinate, exceptionally talented and just as forgetful. More often than not, he seems to be lost in his head. Such things as going on a trip out of the blue without notifying anybody is typical for this genius. Normally, the boss turns a blind eye to Larry's quirks. But this time, an important business meeting is about to start. Jacob needs the data Larry has been working on. But the guy is nowhere to be found. He doesn't answer his phone, so no one can reach him. One hour before the meeting has to begin, Jacob can't wait any longer. 
he switches on Larry's computer, but it's password locked. The man tries some random combination of letters and numbers, but of course, it's wrong. Suddenly, a tiny window appears on the screen. In this window, Jacob sees what seems to be a riddle. Little, little, late, late. After puzzling over it for a while, the man types something in the window and sees the home screen. The computer is unlocked! What has Jacob written? The answer to this rebus is too little, too late. Unfortunately, it's not as simple as that. The folder with the needed data is also protected by a password. When Jacob clicks on it, that's what he sees. Write backward all the numbers. Hmm, sounds like a tough task. Luckily, Jacob knows how Larry's brain works. He doesn't need much information to write the correct answer and, finally, get the information. What is the password? And there you have it! That's the phrase, all the numbers written backward. Camilla was terrified of dogs. One day she was jogging in the park and noticed a large dog sitting near the bench. It looked unfriendly. Uh The leash attached to the dog's collar was 3 feet long. Camilla decided it would be safe to pass by if there was at least 7 feet of space between her and the pooch. But even being on a leash, the dog still managed to bite her. How come? Sadly, the leash wasn't tied to anything. David's company develops new apps for smartphones. Right now, he's looking for a designer. He's got hundreds of applicants, but has chosen just three of them. Angela's resume says, I'm 23 years old. I don't have a lot of experience, but I'm a fast learner and have already designed similar applications. Helen wrote in her resume, I'm 26 and have four years of work experience. You should hire me because I've created lots of TikTok stories that have gone viral. And Eric's resume claims he's 28 years old, with 7 years of work experience. He's designed tons of apps. He's been working for Google since the company was launched. David can hire only one person. But it's okay, because only one applicant hasn't lied in their resume. Who is it? Eric has just 7 years of work experience, but Google was officially launched in 1998. There are no stories on TikTok, meaning Helen couldn't create them. David hired Angela. Even though she hasn't been working that long, she's honest and has a nice portfolio. Kevin, a security guard in an amusement park, finds a boy standing near a roller coaster. The kid says his name's Nick. He doesn't know where his dad is. Kevin takes Nick to his office and makes an announcement. Soon after that, two men show up at the door. The first exclaims, We were in a cafe, but after eating my burger, I felt so sick, I had to spend almost 20 minutes in the bathroom. When I got out, Nick wasn't around. I was so worried. The other man interrupts him. We rode a roller coaster together. Then I told Nick to wait there and went to get us some hot dogs. Which man is Nick's father? Nick is too small to ride the roller coaster, which means the second man is lying. The boy's dad is the unlucky guy with food poisoning. Aiden fell madly in love with a beautiful girl, Ella. He tried to spend all his time with her. The man bought her expensive presents and flowers, invited her to the best restaurants, organized yacht trips. They traveled the world, stayed in famous hotels, and went shopping for designer clothes. In less than a year, Aiden became a millionaire. How is it possible? Well, before meeting Ella, the guy was a billionaire. 
Carter had a fast and successfully developing company until his main investor went bankrupt. Carter was desperate. He went to visit his best friend Justin, a coffee shop owner. Cheer up, Justin exclaimed. One rich businessman visits my cafe almost every day. He's here today, too. He's very mysterious and doesn't have any social media accounts. Few people know about his wealth, but I do. Go and introduce yourself. Justin pointed toward the back of the coffee shop. Carter went there and saw three men. Uh Uh-oh. He hadn't asked his friend which one was the wealthy entrepreneur. He looked at the men attentively. In no time, he figured out who was the one he needed. It isn't the guy in the middle. He has a $1 store bag. The one on the right could be rich, but he's recording an Instagram story. And the businessman isn't active on any social media. This means the man Carter needs is on the left. Carter was right. The guy turned out to be a billionaire. He was impressed with Carter's business. But before signing the papers, he mentioned one condition. Carter had to prove he was prepared for all kinds of stressful situations. The man had nothing to do but agree to the challenge. After that, Carter was taken to a remote house and left alone. He was locked in a large room with no windows and three doors. Suddenly, the ceiling started to go down. At the same time, the room began to fill with water. Carter knew that behind the first door, there was a powerful whirlpool that would take him under the surface in no time. The second door was hiding a school of vicious piranhas. And behind the third one, there was a deep pit with sharp wooden spikes at the bottom. Which door should Carter choose to save his life? Carter picked the third door. Once the pit filled with water, he swam over the spikes and successfully escaped from the trap. When he returned to the office, the billionaire had already signed the contract. Three friends agreed to hang out together on Friday night. One of them, Brian, was tasked with bringing pizza. But the guy was running extremely late. His friends were starving. Strangely, Brian wasn't picking up their calls. But in an hour or so, he sent them a selfie. In the photo, he was standing next to his car. In the following message, he wrote he had run out of gas. He was at a gas station, tanking his car up. But his friends didn't believe Brian's excuses. Why? In the picture, it's clearly seen the guys got an electric car. It doesn't need gas.